Welcome to Alberta Rheumatology's discussion on omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential unsaturated fatty acids that are needed for human growth and development and which the body cannot produce. Icosapentaenoic acid or EPA and docosahexaenoic acid or DHA are key components found in marine fish or krill. Alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA, is found in plant sources such as flaxseed. Other unsaturated fatty acids, such as omega-6 and omega-9, are commonly promoted as natural supplements, but these are readily obtained through diet alone. The typical North American diet may be deficient in omega-3 and contain 15 to 20 times more omega-6 than omega-3. A proper ratio is important as omega-3 reduces inflammation, while some omega-6 can boost it. Diets like the Mediterranean diet may provide a better balance to help achieve this proper ratio. Recommendations for daily omega-3 intake from diet and supplements combined for healthy adults range between 200 to 500 milligrams of EPA and DHA. The best source of omega-3 fatty acids is fatty fish. If you eat two servings of fatty fish per week, this should provide enough omega-3. Other sources include things like kelp, fortified eggs, yogurt, margarine, nuts, and soy products. Here's a table of some common sources of omega-3. As you can see, the salmon and fish oils have different amounts of EPA and DHA within them. Things like walnuts and flaxseed mostly have ALA, and in most studies, it's found that ALA has about an 8 to 20% conversion rate to EPA, with an insignificant amount converted to DHA. Omega-3 has been used for the management of rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Omega-3 fish oils, specifically the EPA and DHA, have anti-inflammatory properties. They may also reduce cholesterol levels, prevent blood clots, and potentially provide cardiovascular protection. Plant sources do not seem to have as much of a benefit. Do omega-3 fatty acids work? Well, supplementation may be beneficial, especially if your diet is deficient in omega-3. There may be a possible benefit in new onset rheumatoid arthritis and for reducing rheumatoid arthritis pain. There does not appear to be a benefit in knee osteoarthritis. EPA and DHA are likely safe in a combined dose of less than 3 grams per day. There is no evidence that omega-6 fatty acids benefit patients with rheumatic conditions and their use is not recommended. There is also no reliable evidence to recommend omega-9 fatty acids. Possible side effects with omega-3 supplements include a fishy aftertaste, and there are a few strategies you can try to reduce this, such as freezing the supplement, using an enteric coated capsule, or taking the supplement with a meal. They may also cause things like heartburn, nausea, mild diarrhea, and a rash. It's also possible you could experience low blood pressure, especially if you're taking an antihypertensive medication as well. And in amounts higher than recommended, EPA and DHA may increase the risk of bleeding. It's important to let your doctor know about any supplements that you take, and you should check with your pharmacist for interactions between omega-3 and other medications. For more about omega-3 and other natural health products, please visit our website at albertarheumatology.com. And as always, do not hesitate to talk to your doctor.